I'm Jada Montemarano for Red Carpet Report at the Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills. And we're here for the 2016 Media Access Awards, promoting disability awareness in film and television. All right, so what brought you out here today? Well, first of all, I work with an organization called Make a Film Foundation. And so what we do is we make short films for terminally ill kids. Anthony Conti, 16 years old. And, you know... Unfortunately, he's fighting a debilitating cancer, so we're doing a short film with him. So he's here today as well. You know, we're celebrating him. This is an amazing event. Um, you say access, and that's what it's all about. And when you take lemon and you make lemonade, you know what I mean? We're celebrating. These people are a profound inspiration to me. Bigger, bigger than what I just said. That's why I'm here. Like. When we look at our society today, we, we see the biggest problem with this election is the fear of the exclusion. So this is an amazing celebration of inclusion and the inspiration of those who face challenges that we don't. It's awesome. How do you hope that media will change from here to be more inclusive with all types of people? Well, you know, I think it's all about education and information. I think the more people get information and step outside of their narrow definitions of life and the way things are, I think the more things will open up because you actually get exposed. <laughs> and then you go, oops, I thought what? <laughs> and then you start to make turns, and that's important. And a little bit about yourself. So you've been very busy lately. Tell me about a couple things you've been working on. Oh, God. I did, I did Roots. I did Freakish for Hulu. And I have The Expanse coming out. Of course, I was on Arrow. I had an amazing arc as a villain on there. So I'm staying really, really busy. I'm teaching acting, total actor in New York, and uh, working on um, a film about the life of Mike Brown Jr. So, yeah, <laughs> cooking, cooking it up. How does it feel to be teaching other actors? Well, you know what? The one thing I found out is if you have a great relationship with your teacher, it's almost like inside you, like it's in me to teach because I had such great teachers. And what I love is to see the light bulb go off for a young actor who connects with his instrument in a way that he didn't even know was possible. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for coming tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more interviews. And in the comments below, let us know what your favorite interview from today was.